Sahara is expanding and while that is concerning news in real life, it is much more fun here on Planet Zoo. The Sahara area first stood finished almost a year ago, but now changes have been made with the Arid Animal Pack additions. A lot of new animals have moved in and a few moved out. But let us jump right into it and take a walk around the updated Sahara area here in the dry lands and talk about it all. So here we are standing in one end of the Sahara area. And as you can see we got our dromedary camels here. This is only one end of their habitat. That is kind of like a trail where you can see it goes up now. Which leads to the other end in the other end of the Sahara area. So they kind of follow the whole area along the side. So we'll look at them again later. And first we got a toilet building here and then we'll move down here, not here, this is a staff area. We'll move down here. And if you saw the tour I did last year from this part of the zoo, then we used to have the fennec fox here. But now I just turned it into something rather simple for the porcupines. Most porcupine exhibits I know from real life tend to be quite simple and really just a small filler exhibit. So I wanted to go for that. I see a lot of people these days doing quite over the top porcupine enclosures, which is fine of course. Uh, and it makes good sense since this is probably the most popular animal from the arid animals pack and they tend to be the one where you go a bit over the top with. But I want to keep it simple like I, I'm used to from real life. I still need to make, make custom signs for all the animals so that will be another day. And here I got a small separation enclosure made for the Shimata Oryxus. You might know my big aviary here already, but now they have a small outside part where they can walk out. All the keepers can shift them into if necessary, or you can split one of them from the group. So you got a bit more flexibility. Then we still got this small cafe here, there's not a lot going on in there. So we got a lot of empty space out here right now that will turn into something someday probably and otherwise we just have to follow this track around. Get another look, so here's the keeper entrance. And as you might know I moved the whole zoo from the old North American desert map into this North American grassland map which means we got much more blue sky and, and I had to work more on my own backgrounds which works really well. So I just put in a lot of stuff here. So straight ahead might need a bit of work that is some staff entrances I could work a bit more. Now I put up all these curtains and here we might need to do something too. And so this side of the aviary is changed a bit. I added a small stable for the oryxes under here. And otherwise it mostly looks the same. But I just changed the foliage and rocks a bit. And then I also I made the flamingos area bigger. So if you're familiar with this, you'll know that this consists of two habitats in here with the null barriers and then I have turned escape off. So the oryxes will be in the front and the flamingos will stay in the back. But they used to only have the corner up here, but now I moved them into all of it. So it looks better with a bigger group now. And we'll go further here. So if you subscribe to the channel, we will probably soon be making some educational stuff here about conservation work or something like that with antelopes from North Africa. I have a bit of a fun idea for that. 
and otherwise we can look into the enclosure here so of course this aviary will always feel a bit empty when it's only the flamingos in here I have really been hoping that we would get something more to put in here at some point but so far we are left with these which are great but not your most typical aviary bird but you do see more and more aviaries for flamingos in real life so it does make some kind of sense but it's rather extreme to build all this for just flamingos but I'm clinging to the hope I got something else to put in here one day and this entrance here is not really meant to be seen and we got the outside and then last December we added the striped hyenas to the area here which of course came with the grasslands animal pack so this part was also not a part of the tour we did last year but you might have seen it on the channel already we did a speed build for this one can't see any hyenas in here right now they might be in the backstage area and this side we did some changes to as well you might already spot them so now we got Adax and Dama Gazelle in here because I have now concentrated the area more around Sahara there's still a few animals which are more on the edge of Sahara but before we also had the Nile as part of the name so we had Nile letways in here and zebras and then later on ostriches what I'll do with all those I'm not sure yet the zebras already moved to another part of the park I for now the letways are gone so Alex and Dharma Gazelle in here now quite a lot of water for those species maybe but I didn't want to delete that I like this bridge too much as you can see here it's a bit of a mess over here that's because I did that big move of the whole park if you want to see how that went then I got a video for that in here we got the Nile monitor and so far I haven't moved the monitor in there again because I might end up deleting this I'm not really sure yet or else I'll maybe move it so for now I didn't want to touch it too much because I'm going to build something here and I think it might end up taking this space and then we got the warthog enclosure I didn't really change that I'm still a bit undecided if I want to keep the warthogs in this area they're not really the best match for Sahara but I really like this enclosure so it would be a shame I really don't like the warthog model but as long as they are in the back it looks fine then I made it a bit easier to look up to the enclosure in the back here there's a moat in between so it feels very open here and then, and then this used to be for Advarks, but this is now the other end of the camel enclosure. I really like how this turned out with all the rocks. And then they have like the trail up here as you can see, which go to the other end, which we saw in the beginning. I really like the dromedary camels, they are one of the best models in the game I think. And this fence is a bit inspired by the fence at the at the camel enclosure in the living desert and then you can see something is going on over here this is where we will make a new night house so this is not built yet that is another thing you can look forward to here on the channel so we'll make a night house in here mostly focused around Sahara so we'll have the bats, we'll have the sand cat and the fennec foxes and we'll also add the artworks in there. So that was a small tour of the area. 
Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll have some more content ready for you soon. Don't forget to leave the video a like if you liked it and if you want to see how this used to look, I'll put a link to the old Sahara tour in the description. Then you can see what changed and what have stayed the same. Thank you for stopping by.